Okay, what's happening folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nez Tech, but you're taking a look at the budget PC once again. And uh, of course we have in the R7 250X card and down here we have the new Xeon card that I ordered up. I'm really wondering how much it's going to change this system to move it up to a Xeon. And I'm hoping that the power supply over here, the StarTech made for Pentium 4, compatible with Pentium 4, 350 watts, will be good enough. Here we have the uh, Pentium 3, of course, this thing came with a, a Pentium, and then I put an i3 in it, a 3220, and those things are freaking horrible. I swore I'd never use them. But now, folks, I have the uh, the Intel Xeon E3-1220. Got it from a slow boat from China. I'm going to plug her in and see how it does. It, there's a huge difference in the price between Xeon chips and i7s. All right, my guys, so we got everything installed, warmed up, good to go. I already did a benchmark, and with the permission of the colonel, I have run a benchmark. This benchmark is, uh, I'm okay with that score. I like that score, particularly with how much I, uh, I paid for these things. Unfortunately, uh, when it comes to the CPU, the CPU only seems to have brought the score up by uh, about 600, I think, compared to what it used to be, the i3-3220. Uh, Man, that stuff is slow. This is my dog. He's currently experiencing a love affair with the heated blanket. Alright, let's start off with 50 frames per second with these guys. That is definitely better than what I was experiencing before with the i3. Uh, I think that the benefits of having a Xeon uh, aren't really present when it comes to the numerical value of the benchmark because this is so much better night and day difference now the reason why I picked up the Xeon is because a lot of people seem to avoid Xeon thinking it's more of a server thing and everybody's after the i7 or the i9 or in some cases the i5 but I'm starting to think that uh, there is a market for the Xeon that most people aren't taking advantage of because they think it's all server stuff alright we are getting 11 almost 12 frames per second here doing pretty good doing pretty good anyways yeah the i5 the prices are relatively high among those and the i3 the prices are okay but you really want an i3 at the end of the day so when i got this system i thought it was going to be an i7 and it instead it was a, a pentium a pentium uh, i had to throw in the i3 and i'm i just wasn't seeing what i'm seeing here this just looks so much better so much better so in china right now that there actually there's one group actually making motherboards specifically for the xeons that particularly went into enterprise servers and uh they're actually making quite a bit of money with that let's check this out we're getting 30 frames per second in direct x10 checking out those uh alien jellyfish man wouldn't that be the worst if aliens showed up and they're freaking brainless jellyfish that would just be the saddest thing because jellyfish are just full of sting and pain that pan and tilt is very good the mother of all jellyfish right there that's right that would just be the worst i really hope that uh, that kind of stuff does not exist and it's uh for the money i paid for this video card the video card uh if i lived in the states i could have got it for like 25 bucks since i'm in canada it cost me almost 80 with import charges and stuff like that but it was still the best card i could find i got this one because it was comparable to the gtx or sorry the geforce uh 1030 and the 1030 is the basic you want to go you never want to go any lower than 1030 man when i got a 1030 my buddy daryl was freaking furious he's like how could you do that i told you to get the 1050 and now i can see why he would say that but still now i did get this video card used the r7 250 and man the price was right if i was living in america it would have only been like 35 american but i had to pay about 80 but still at 60 less than a uh geforce 1030 which is your basic budget G gpu and that's great for this and man these days with all the component shortages due to ethereum miners and uh and just the lack of production this was a great price for what i got trying to have some fortnite doom's looking pretty good there let's try some solo oh yeah this is nice and smooth i'm getting generally about 30 frames per second here i'm getting some catch up but i think that's from uh, network lag people joining in more than anything all right, gonna have a look at the side. Whoa, that really uh, came in nicely. Came in nicely. Okay, let's go see if we can talk to the orb and see what the orb has to say. Did you speak with the orb? 
That orb's actually looking pretty jagged, eh? Next up, of course, we have Grand Theft Auto 5 getting by liberally. Yeah, it's about 30 frames per second, but that's exactly what I expected with this thing. Once again, I wanted to get something a lot like the uh, the 1030, and the 1030 is great at playing everything at 30 frames per second, my butt always tells me. But seriously, this feels and looks better than it does on the, uh, the Xbox, so I'm going to go with it. Everything feels really smooth. I definitely think that this is a good uh, bunch of chips and GPUs that you could be using to... Uh, uh, make your system just barely playable for many of the best uh, maybe not the latest games but the best games the only game that really matters is doom will it play doom you know it'll play doom tricks and traps this is the best level ever guys gotta say mm, I could live without Fortnite I could live without Grand Theft Auto but I could never live without doom Doom. All in all, I gotta say that this is good for any budget build that you might be looking at. Of course, right now it's really hard to get components, especially hard to get GPUs with everybody mining Ethereum with them and um, the component shortage. There's problems with auto parts right now just because nobody can get the dang components that they need to uh, run the cars and whatnot that might be also be because none of the auto parts fo folks like having any inventory so if it's a just-in-time situation you're gonna have a bad time anyways here's the Xeon that I picked up I got the uh, 1220 the E3 man I always get excited when I hear E3 I feel like I'm gonna be seeing some booth babes and some video games but not today not today Galvatron sadly but still how much was that that was uh, 30 40 shipped I should have shopped around a little bit because I could have found it for cheaper closer but sometimes I see see that cheap shipping and I uh, just <clears throat> love that love that Chinese inventory what can I say so it's good stuff I mean, you might want to check this stuff out if you want a budget build and that's it for me folks net from those tech bets have a good one folks like and subscribe if you like this stuff it's always appreciated. Catch you later.